Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, you know what I'm here with? I'm here with my week four picks. <laughs> Now, as bad as week one was when I was eight and eight, remember that? Remember back when I was eight and eight? Yeah, well, this past week, seven and nine. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! So, uh, yeah, it, even worse. And remember when I said most primates could get half of them right? Okay, so I'm below the primate level on this past week. You can't handle the truth! seven and nine and on the year that puts me at 27 and 21 only because i had that great middle week when i was 12 and four and i need like five more of those in a row so i don't know so anyway overall that puts me at 56.3 percent i'm still kind of you know i'm right there you know i'm only i'm less than four percent away from 60 percent which is about what i was last year not quite i missed it by that much missed it by that much <laughs> but um yeah 56.3 percent after three weeks is you can recover from that and i'm hoping i do so uh yeah we've got a thursday game this week as we will most weeks and the thursday game is going to be the uh, Broncos at the Jets. Now this, this my friends, is a tough one. Because both of these teams are a trash dumpster. So, um, I, you know, I don't know. But if I had to pick, and I do, I'm going with the Broncos. I am going to go with the Broncos on this one. Um, I, as far as I know, Driscoll is still their quarterback. You think you know, but you don't know. And you never will. He didn't look too bad against the Steelers. So, yeah. You got the Jets going down into the garbage can. So, yeah. I don't even know where to put this because <laughs> it's reserved for the very, very bad of the very, very bad. And the Jets are, they're kind of in that, that range. Um, so, then you got the... Chargers at the Buccaneers. And uh, in this one, I think it's a pretty safe bet. You go with the ch the uh, Buccaneers. Not the Chargers. You go with the Buccaneers on this one. The Chargers, you know, Herbert, he kind of tricked me last week. I thought, man, this Herbert guy, he knows what he's doing. This guy is already mature and great. And he might be, but the rest of the team wasn't very good. So they uh, lost to the Panthers last week, and that was uh, that was pretty bad. So um, this time I'm, you know, and, and Brady's on the other side, and Brady is continuing to learn the offense, the new, you know, the personnel that he has. Every week Brady is going to get better and better in that Buccaneers offense, where by the end of the year you aren't going to want to play the Buccaneers at all. So, and really the Chargers don't want to play them at all either. So the next one we have is the uh, Vikings at the Texans. And in this one, this is a surpriser here, but I'm going to go with the Vikings. Yes, the Vikings have looked very bad, but you know what? The Texans continue to kill me. So I am going to go with the Vikings on this. I think they can pull one off against the Texans. They uh, scored a lot of points last week. They fell short. They didn't win. But, you know, they scored a lot. Of, in fact, they played the Titans, I believe, and they lost 31-30. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go that way. And then you've got the... Um, next game, we got the Steelers. And the aforementioned Titans. 
And in this game, I, yes, every week I pick against the Steelers because they haven't quite convinced me. And yeah, they still haven't quite convinced me I'm going with the Titans on this one. We don't quite put the Steelers on the trash can because they are winning. They are, they're winning, they're just kicking my butt. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm still going to go with the Titans. I am not 100% convinced that that Steelers team is ready to, uh, is, is like the Steelers of the 70s. And I don't even know if Steeler fans are going to say that they're the Steelers of the 70s. But I'm going to go with the Titans in that game. So the next one we've got is the Cardinals at the Panthers. Now, I was kind of surprised last week that the Cardinals lost. And they lost to the Lions, no less. So, hence, 7-9. and nine. So, um, this week, I am going to go, I'm still going to go with the Cardinals. I'm still on the Cardinals bandwagon. I think that they're really at the door and ready to knock it in. And the um, Panthers, the, you know, they beat the Chargers, but okay, so what? In fact, we're going to give a garbage can to the, uh, to the Panthers. So, um, yeah. Next one we've got is the um, the Ravens are coming down 95 and they're or, or are they going up 95? I don't know, but they're playing the Washington football team. And uh, yeah, I think this is an easy one. You go with the Ravens on this. The Washington, I like their defense. Washington's defense is really kind of decent. But um, Haskins, he's still a quarterback, and he still makes a lot of mistakes. So, yeah. Get the Washington football club out of here. Um, you got the Saints and the Lions next. And uh, so let's put this one up in your screen. And... This one is going to be, you know what I'm going to call this one? I'm going to say that this is my upset special, and I'm going to go with the Lions in this one. Now, I don't know what the Vegas line has this game as being, or whether they really think that this is an upset, but yeah. I'm going with the Lions to beat the Saints. Because the Saints are, you know, they're struggling on many levels. So, um... Yeah, I'm going to go with the Lions there. And the next one you got is the Jaguars at the Bengals. Now, the Jaguars let me down last week. They were playing the Dolphins. I thought for sure, Thursday night football, I thought for sure that that Jag defense and, you know, the whole thing with uh, the mustache man at quarterback, I thought for sure they were going to win. They didn't. And I was sure that the Bengals were going to beat the Eagles, and they ended up tying the Eagles. Which, by the way, that still counts as a loss for the sportsman, because I said that one team would win. I did not say that game would be a tie, so I got it wrong. So, uh, But in this one, I'm still going with the Jags. I am going to go back to the Jags. I'm going away from the Bengals. The Bengals, yeah, you know, they got Burrow, but no. I don't think that they're quite ready. Um, the defense, it's the rest of the team around Burrow. I mean, Burrow is good. But the rest of the team around him, it's a mess. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go that way there. Now you've got, this one shouldn't be hard. You have the Seahawks at the Dolphins. Who's everybody out there picking? You taking Fitzpatrick in Miami? Bad idea. Let's go with the Seahawks, because the Seahawks are beating everybody in existence. If you put the Seahawks in a time machine and you played them against the 85 Bears, they would probably win. If you played them against the 78 Steelers, they would probably win. Yeah, let's go with the Seahawks on this. And Miami, no. Miami is just not, they're not there. Miami still has some work to do my friends. And then you've got the 
Browns at the Cowboys. And the Cowboys, of course, burn my butt a lot, but really kind of so do the Browns. But I'm going with the Cowboys. I think the Cowboys should be able to beat the Browns. The Browns, for like a half last week, had problems with the Washington football team. So, yeah, it's, you don't want to put that on your resume, that's for sure. So I'm going with the Cowboys in that particular game. Go with the Cowboys. Let's hope they don't upset me. Um, so let's see. Oh, here it is. The game you've all been waiting for. This is the Colts at the Bears. Now, I'm going to put a little reminder out here for everybody. If this is the first show that you've seen of my picks... Every week so far, I have picked against the Bears, and the Bears are 3-0. and So I'm going to take that little superstition, and I'm going to ride it. I'm going to ride that wave, and I'm going to say, go with the Colts to beat the Bears. And really, is that really much of a stretch? I mean, I know that they're, they've gone to now, um, supposedly, permanently, they're going to uh, Nick Foles over Mitchell Trubisky which personally I would not do, especially this week against the Colts. I liked the situation they had last week against the um, Falcons, where Mitch was, you know, kind of in neutral, and then they brought in Foles, and then he went, <laughs> went off, they, off they went, and they won. And he was great off the bench. And Foles, that is historically him. First of all, historically, he gets injured a lot. Second of all, historically, he's not good as a full-year starter. You can go back and look at the times where he was a full-year starter, or almost full-year starter, and he didn't do anything those years. But when he comes off the bench, or when he comes in as the starting quarterback late in the season, he's great. But I don't think Game 4 qualifies as late in the season. And again, they're playing the Colts. So I would have a tendency to say that the the uh, that Mitch could probably at least hold his own against the Colts, and then if you had to bring in Foles, you know, like and did I say he was injury prone? Because he is. Foles is also injury prone. So um, you know, if he gets injured, now you're stuck with Mitch Trubisky for the rest of the season. Come, uh, you know what, or high water you're stuck with Mitch. So, I don't know. I don't know if that's the greatest idea, but I'm still picking the Colts because every time I pick against the Bears, they win. And like I said, superstition. Keep it going. Um, so, what do we got here? Now we got the Giants uh, at the Rams. The Rams are going back home. They went from the West Coast to the East Coast. Barely lost to the Bills, and now they're going back to the West Coast to play at home against the Giants. But it doesn't really matter because the Giants are horrible. So we're going to go with the Rams on that. Yeah. I think I don't have any hesitation in saying go with the Rams. Um, now you've got the uh, aforementioned Bills at the Raiders. And, oh, by the way, let me backtrack the Seahawks game where I said the Seahawks would beat the Dolphins. That was my lock of the week. Forgot to mention that, but sorry. Um, and now we've got the uh, Raiders at the, or the uh, Bills at the Raiders. And in this one, I'm going with the Bills because the Bills have made me a believer, especially after last week, although there was a questionable pass interference late in that game. And the Raiders have shown that they are a little more feisty than I was giving them credit for coming into the season. But I'm still going to go with the Bills on that. Now you got the uh, you got the Patriots at the Chiefs. Now, you know what? The Chiefs, they burned me last week. I thought the Ravens would beat them. But no, they were even better than the Ravens. If they're better than the Ravens, yeah, go with the Chiefs. I am going with Kansas City in this one. I like what the Patriots are doing. The whole Cam Newton thing. It's working for them. 
but it's still going to be the Chiefs. They're going to be too much for Cam and the boys to overcome. And um, so now you've got the uh, Eagles at the 49ers. And then this one, you know what? I picked against the 49ers last week because they had their, their Z team in. Well, guess what? That Z team is pretty damn good. So I'm going to go with the 49ers. And the Eagles are horrible. I mean, they, they stink. So now we've got the last game of the week. That's going to be the Monday game now. Those games that I just did, those were all Sunday this is going to be the Falcons at the Packers. And I am going to go with the Packers in this one. Not only because the Packers are just... I mean, if there's a team in the league that's better than the Seahawks, you could only say right now it's the Packers. And if there's a team that is great at blowing leads, it's the Falcons. They are a mess. And not only that, but guess what? The Falcons... In the last one, this is another stat, another from the stat department. The Falcons are the only team to um, below multiple 15-point leads in uh, the, the last 20 years in a single season. And over the last 20 years, no team has blown more than one 15-point lead. And the Falcons have just done it in back-to-back -back weeks to the Dallas Cowboys and then to my Chicago Bears. So that yeah, there, those are my picks. How are you guys liking them? You think they're good? Can, can they get me 12 or 13 this week because I really need that? I mean, I need that like you, it's nobody's business. So to get me back in the, uh, you know, get me back on the... Uh, the train to respectability instead of on the crazy train. So, uh, yeah, those are my picks. You know the drill. Leave me a thumbs up. Comments below. You can leave who you think, um, you know, is going to win this week. You can say where you differ with me, whatever you want. You can say that I'm, you know, worse than Chaka at picking these games from, you know, Chaka from uh, Land of the Lost, because apparently I am worse than him. And he couldn't even speak. And now you've, uh, and, and then also, if you just happen to be stumbling by looking for pics of the week from people and you like this video, then hey, and you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel and share it with other people. Other people might want to see who I picked so that they know who not to pick based on last week where I was seven and nine. So, um... Because, I mean, let's get, let's, you know, let's be real. If you had picked every game opposite of me last week, you would have been nine and seven. So that's what I got for you. And right now, that's it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.